Good morning. Welcome to Saturday, June 30th. Day one of the 2018 summer used gaming auction. Super excited. I skipped yesterday. Um, really didn't do much relaxed because I know today and tomorrow I'm going to be busy. Um, so I just took the time to relax and look for the clipboard that I, I wanted to use, I couldn't find it. I've given up. I'm just going to use the one that has the, the clip that sticks out. It'll work fine. Because at this point I've searched everywhere that it could be. Both here and at my mom's. Um, and so the conclusion that I've come to is that I put it somewhere and I have searched that place and didn't see it. Looked right over it. And so the only option to try to continue finding it would be to literally search everywhere I've already searched. I don't want to do that. I'd rather just use the other clipboard. A little sad, but it's okay. Anyways. I got up an hour and a half ago. It's about 8 right now. I think the first auction, the miniatures auction, starts at noon. So I'm going to be up there by then. Um, you know, a little early, really. Uh, but... Um, you know, I, I still got a bit of time this morning. I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go get donuts because donuts sound so good. I mean, so bad for me, but so good tasting. And, um, and so that would be a nice way to start the day. I may get something a little more real food before the auction. Or maybe I just wait and do that sort of between the auctions. Or we'll see. But, um, but for now, I'm going to go get donuts. And... I did a little bit of editing, a lot of, a fair amount of watching Critical Role, and it's 11.15, uh, I'm gonna head up to the game store, headed to the auction. And I gotta say, I have a headache, it's like in the bottom back of my head, and so I took some ibuprofen just before leaving the house, and, and really I'm hopeful. It might just be because I, I, I haven't had anything but a couple donuts to eat today, and it's like 11.30, and I've been up since 6.30. Um, so maybe that's all it is. And so I spent, you know, just got a few things off the, whatever, the, the, the dollar menu at Taco Bell. It's a few bucks. I get some real food in me. And uh, what is it? 11.35 right now. So I'll eat this, and then I'm going to head in, get all settled in for the auction. All right, headed into Fantasy Shop. The auction begins. Oh boy, all of the chairs are facing a new direction. I'm excited. We'll see how this works. Where do I want to sit? It's set up differently. I can make a new decision. I'm the schmuck that opened these doors 37 years ago. So the shops are actually older than most of my employees. Yeah. Uh, we do these several times a year. We've gone as many as four or five a year and sometimes only one a year. The idea is this is a chance for people to flush out their closets, to get rid of things that they're not using anymore, and to give you guys a chance to try things that are either out of print and you can't find, or I don't want to pay $50. Everybody's favorite thing on miniatures we have bathroom reading. Or, as some people said, it's useful for other things besides bathroom reading, more so than the bathroom reading. So this is lot number 0166. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten back issues of Delightful White Dwarf magazine. So will anybody give me a dollar? I've got one dollar, one dollar, one, everyone give me two dollars. Sold for one dollar to two oh four. Seven dollars, seven dollars. Sold for seven dollars to two eighteen. Now this is fantastic. Forty one thirty seven. We have an expired uh, code for Rum Roll White Dwarf for uh, to uh, Total War Warhammer. We've got some Tau 
uh, transfers. We have some little tufts of grass for base of your units, and we have an expired edition of Warhammer 40k rulebook. Who wants to give me a buck? We got one, two, three, four. We got five dollars. You get it for five. Five dollars for number two fourteen. So if one dinosaur, big lizard dinosaur thing wasn't enough, now we've got two big dinosaur. Uh, but this one's got a big guy riding it. This one's got a skink riding it. They we got are a source rider. Seraphon, carnivore, and Cosmo, according to this set. Sure. Call it that. We got two big lizards with a little lizard and a bigger lizard riding on top. So we got two big lizards. We got one dollar, sixteen dollars, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I got 20, 20, sold for $20 to the sealed wizard, sealed wizard, sealed lizard, uh, 5706A. Sealed better. 5706B. These have gone, come so far, the cold one riders from the old ones to the new ones. I love these guys. They, they are very, very pretty. Uh, really nice. 5706, I want to say it's eight. Uh, cold one uh, riders. Yeah, B. B. Okay, I've got eight cold one riders. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 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 twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fourteen. Sold for fourteen dollars. Number two hundred. And so the. Uh Miniatures auction didn't go too long. I got a couple hours before the uh, role-playing game auction begins. I could, of course, just drive home and hang out there. But where's the fun in that? Um, I'm going to walk up to Hardee's. Um, I could drive over to Hardee's, but I'm not going to be out walking today. So might as well do a little bit, though it is quite hot out. Um, and I only spent seven bucks. Didn't get much. But miniatures, I didn't expect to. Um, did have a blast. But yeah, so between the auctions, I'm going to eat, and then I'll head back over. And I've been looking through some stuff, continue to look through, and decide what I'm interested in. So, I guess take a look at the quality, make sure I'm actually interested in the things that I've already decided from the images online that I was interested in. <laughs> Got the $5 meal box. <laughs> Good deal. Feeling full and now there's still an hour and a half before the RPG option but I'm stubborn so I'm sticking around uh, sort of slowly making my way back to the store in this blistering heat I don't know the chairs are dreadfully uncomfortable but maybe I'll just sit in one of those for an hour and a half who knows right and the new setup that they have here, basically we used to face that way, now we're facing this way, works out in that the person that's standing back there doing the auction can see the person over here that's doing the silent bids, so that's good. But it's a lot less front row space, so for the role playing games where I want to be front row, I did make sure to, to get here. Uh, that's one of the reasons not to just leave and come back. But I me mean, already here, I make sure I have my space, so that I'm right up front able to Look at the condition of all the books and such. And uh, just taking a look at all the lots role playing game. If you have not signed up and got your bidders card, please go to the delightful lady in the pink shirt and she can get you signed up and make it so you are available to get some of these sweet items. Um, if you guys aren't familiar, we're going to be going into increments of a dollar. And if you have uh, higher bids that you want to start off, just let us know. Um, so if you want to play, always need dungeon stuff masters. Again. It is a noble profession. <laughs> that way, I can keep being a PC. <laughs> At the very end of the auction, uh, you'll come up to Kelly, and she will give you your total. If you're paying with cash, she'll take care of you there. Otherwise, she'll give you a receipt total. You'll go up there. You'll get two receipts. You'll have to bring them back, and they will have us pick your items. Please do not come back here and try to grab your items yourself. 
uh, we will do that for you. If you're not able to be here tomorrow, we do still have silent bid sheets. You can bid online, but you can still go around, peruse, feel free to look at some of the board games. You can no and, longer bid online. You yeah, that's what I just said, you couldn't you bid right. online. So like we still have slips, so if you're interested and can't make it tomorrow, feel free to dig around and see what awesome <laughs> treasures we have back there. I do recommend coming in tomorrow because I'll be emceeing. Ken is uh, nice <laughs> enough to uh, step in today. My knowledge for role playing in miniatures isn't the, the strongest, so you'll get to see me make a fool of myself tomorrow trying to pronounce board games that I don't know how to read. Uh, Can you set your phones to stun? Yes. Oh. Um, is there anything I forgot in my glorious speech? Horse trading? Horse yes. trading. We don't care. After, after everything's all said and done, you may be bought uh, you know, 14, different, 14 copies of the player's handbook in one lot, and you don't need 14 copies. So if somebody wants to come up and say, Hopefully we need better lots than that. <laughs> if somebody comes up and says, hey, I'd like to get one of those player handbooks off of you, by all means, trade, barter, whatever you want to do, back here. We sell the stuff up front, and if they see you trying to walk out the door uh, with it, they may try and charge you again, which Dave fully endorses. Uh, so do everything back here, and then take it out to your cars. Uh, again, we just really appreciate everybody's time. This is We've been doing this for over 30 years. It is one of my favorite fantasy shop uh, events, not just as an employee, but as a customer. I would come and I would laugh my butt off with Dave and Mike, uh, and I just really enjoy uh, it as an entire event. I will try to make it as uh, entertaining as possible, and we are going to go ahead and get started here in just one second. We're going to let these fine people get numbers real quick. It's called Dad Joke Face-Off. He has such wonderful jokes as, was the bulb heavy? No, it was light. Or, what's a polite, per what's a polite person's favorite dessert? Nice cream. Or <laughs> you just lost the game, Danielle. The, the, the catchphrase on the front of the box is the first player to laugh loses. These are so you're all winning right now. Yeah, <laughs> these are terrible jokes. So are we all good? We're ready. We're okay, set. we're starting with zero zero zero. I think that's too many zeros. Zero 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 seven. We have a lot of uh, miniatures. We have Nancy the punk rock girl. We've got the steampunk aquanaut. We've got Mavernous Soldier. Uh, we have the Eastern Mouselings. We have uh, Stone as a Bones figure. And then we have Bathalenian Mastermind. I, I'm going to assume that that's supposed to be Mind Flayer, but they can't use that because it's copyrighted. Uh, and then we have a Flying Monkey. Uh, on loan from my boss because she's got flying ones. Yep, they all fit in the bag. So we're going to start off at. Okay, that's one other thing that we forgot to do. So if you see the fine ladies up here uh, bidding, uh, they are doing so because somebody either sent in an electronic bid or we got a paper seal bid. Continue to bid against them. They will eventually put their hand down, and we are more than happy to see that happen. Now back to uh, lot number seven with the mishmash of uh, different uh, miniatures. We're starting at a dollar. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm at it six. Okay, so we got seven in the back. Seven, seven, seven sold for seven dollars to two seventeen. Well, that's how it works. <laughs> that's exactly how it works. Thank you very much. <laughs> Zero, 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 0008. You know, sad when miniatures get run over by cars. Uh, we have the Elf Ranger Flat. Uh, we have Takayoshi University Fitness Club, the miniatures for the Tentacle Bento, Bento game. We have Desert Thing, which it kind of looks like the thing from Star Wars. Uh, yep. it's Only much smaller. It's got some tentacles, and you know, kind of goes with the tentacle bento thing. Uh, and then we have the Rock Soldier uh, from the Chronoscope, Chronoscope line from uh, Reaper. We've got four various uh, different miniatures uh, for 0008. Do I have a dollar anywhere? I got one, two, three, three, three. Anybody else? Sold for three dollars to two thirteen. I'm just curious about the flat one. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? Right. Well, they're originally they're meant to be ornaments. Yeah. Um, yeah that's them. what I thought they looked like. 
like ornaments. Yeah, but I know Scotty up front uh, uses them sometimes as like squashed by a giant. <laughs> like, yeah, like, they're good for yeah. that physical. Um. 1607. We've got the six gun uh, role playing game. Do we still have any of those uh, six gun poker chips? No, those are really cool. I don't think so. Okay, anymore. we got the six gun, the winding way. We've got Valiant Universe Transcending Edge and Valiant Universe, the role playing game. The uh, six gun are using the Savage World rules because I forgot to mention that off of these two. So we've got some Savage World and we've got some Valiant Universe role playing. So who's going to start me off at a dollar? Or are we starting higher than that this nope, time? Okay, starting dollar. off at a dollar. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, 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 twenty-six. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, Sold for $26 to two oh nine. See, this is going by fast and easy. You guys are great. You're bidding. It makes everybody happy. You guys are the best. You too. <laughs> okay, so we're starting off with a Western theme. We've got Firefly, which is Westerns in Space, the role-playing game. Then we go to Deadlands, the Flood. Deadland, the Marshall's Handbook. Oh, there we go. Throw that one out. Necropolis 2350. So now we've got dead people in the future. So we've got some Western stuff. We've got some sci fi Western stuff. And then we just got some dead stuff. So who's going to give me a dollar? Dead Western stuff. Sure, why not? So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20. 21, 21, 21, anyone want to give me 22? Guess not, sold for $21 to 213. 4501, you know, there's one thing that gamers don't have enough of. I don't have enough dice. I could use some more dice. I mean, you can never have enough dice. Yeah. <laughs> so we have the random mishmash assortment of dice that everybody always needs because you always need more and they all roll good yep <laughs> all of them we, we have cards. every single one scientifically we have cardboard so chips and tokens we got the tomb we of annihilation dice set let's see if there's actually dice inside the pretty metal box and you have foam that custom fits dice isn't that nice of them so, are the dice in the bag though? No, they're oh, in there. The, oh, they're okay. Yeah, you actually get a whole set. Just said the foam, and I didn't see the. You say the and, dice. <laughs> oh, look so, at that! That's it is kind of weird that the D20 is a completely different color than the rest of the dice. Yes. But you know what? Maybe it's just for accent. Maybe. And it even comes with a screaming demon on the front. <laughs> Plus, a slip cover. So we're starting at one. Four dollars. What? Four. Four dollars. We got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-one. Are you still in, Casey? No. Twenty-one sold for twenty-one dollars to two forty-four. Okay, so we got forty-five oh three. We've got some interlocking game tiles so that you can actually build a castle floor, dungeon floor, something like that, but they actually lock together. We've got Adventure Dungeon Grid, fantastic accessories for the <laughs> world's greatest role playing game. And it operates in some fancy manner. It actually folds it out. Except it's. Yeah, <laughs> essentially, but it's hard and it folds weird, so you feel like you're going to break it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then, because dungeon tiles aren't just good with the city and the wilderness, we now have dungeons as well. Dungeon? So, dungeon tiles? Yep, yeah, dungeon, dungeon tiles. Reincarnated, so they used to be something else in an earlier life. Yeah, so, I have the previous one. 11. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 29. Anyone want to jump in at 30? Sold for $29 to 229. Hey, that's a that number of matches. Oh. 5701. Okay, now I'm going to ask because I don't know. Anybody know what edition? Five. Hey, you know five. what it says fifth that's edition good. on the back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay, me, I can read. <laughs> Fifty-seven oh one. Thank you. 
Uh, so we got fifth edition. We got fifth edition run faster uh, core players handbook. And then we have Shadowrun uh, Runner's Toolkit Alphaware, which has got Rules of the Street, The Edge of Now, Plots and Pay Data. It's got some maps. It's got some uh, information for NPCs. And it's got some D6 dice, and it's got some sales stuff inside. So we got some supplements for the Shadowrun 5th edition game, the core book, and then the player's core handbook for the player. We're starting at $17 for someone who needs to know the rules of the street. Okay, so is that you, Casey? No, it's not. <laughs> somebody else. So they okay. need to know. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 62, 62, anybody want to go to 63? Sold for $62 to 232. Why didn't the beans and the meat warm up in the camper? I don't know, why? It was chilly! <laughs> $101! I'm starting with $101 for a bag of mini goodness. What the fudge? <laughs> no, wow. minis, not fudge, and chilly was the answer to the joke. Anybody want to go 102? I got 102, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, remember there's a 1 in front of this, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, I got 120. 120 is my sticking point. 120 is the sticking point, 121 and you can have it. 120 to 122. Way to stick it to the silent bitters for not showing up. Yeah. Almost done. Okay. I have exalted minis. I have Pathfinder minis. I have a Batman lunch bag, uh, like sandwich bag that I really kind of want because I like Batman. And we've got. I have more at home. It's a bag. <laughs> but it has oh, Batman on it. There's like Batman, Aubrey. Doesn't matter. I like Batman. I mean, maybe you can sweet talk whoever wins it. Uh, I'll just then, bring you one. Okay, <laughs> great. Yay! David's such a sweetie. And then I've got random other miniatures that are either painted or unpainted, on bases or not. So we've got metal that minis. Five dollars. Fifty-seven sixty-five. That's an important number for them. Five dollars. Starting at five dollars. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25, 25, 25, sold for $25, 229. We have Litany of the Tribes, Volume 1, for Werewolf of the Apocalypse and Werewolf of the Wild West. We've got Litany of the Tribes, number 2, uh, same subset. Yep. Uh, we've got the Beset, and we've got the Ananasi. Ananasi. And Nazi. So we got two tribe books and we've got two compendiums for White Wolf. Where what we got 17. going on? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21, 21, 22, 23, 23, 23. Sold for twenty-three dollars to the not so silent bidder sitting in the third row. <laughs> now if y'all want to play these games, just come up on an RPG demo desk. <laughs> just ask nicely, he'll run them. Okay. So we're at the very last slot. We're going to start off by just saying thank you so much for enduring uh, my sense of humor and thank uh, you for having it. Uh, and the four lovely ladies up here. And all, you know, <laughs> I, may be, I may be the voice, but John spent fifty like fifty hours getting this stuff prepped. Danny helped move all this stuff in yesterday and has been schlepping boxes all day. Uh, Audrey? Aubrey. Aubrey. Sorry. Wow. Oh. From this store, he is totally forgiven. 
Aubrey uh, came up and has been schlepping boxes. Casey and Kelly have been running uh, the computers all day. The guys up front have been cashing out credit card receipts. And we can't do this stuff without you guys, so we really just appreciate the fact that you've been sitting here for like three and a half hours, some of you longer having conversations. Yeah. Uh, don't forget that we've got a couple of really special events. On August 11th, we've got the Dungeon Crawl for the Cure. Make sure you grab a flyer off of the Black Round Table uh, back in the midst and see what uh, is going on and what the specifics are. Uh, the week of after that, on the 18th, we've got the Be the Match thing here. It takes about 25 minutes of your time. It's well worth it. You could literally be somebody's uh, superhero and save their life. Um, We've got in two weeks RPG Demo Day. Once we're done, please again don't gang rush Kelly and Casey. Uh, forming a line behind the gentleman in the Darkness and Demi Gorgon's t shirt uh, from Stranger Things, which is a really cool shirt, by the way, sir. Um, again, what? Which t shirt? It's good. Yeah, it's great. Yep. So, again, thank you so much. Uh, we are on Board our last... games are tomorrow. Yes. yes. We have so many. Come so buy them. Com come. If you didn't spend all your money today, come and spend the rest of it tomorrow. If you did spend all your money today, come and spend more tomorrow anyways. But don't bid against me. I can't, I can't, we can't guarantee That's that. That's why I come here. Okay. So, 5771. We've got the Department of Extra Normal Operations Agent Manual, an overview for the DC Universe Department of Extra Normal Operations. It's a D6 role playing game. We've got The Legend of the Five Rings. I'm going to assume Fourth. core rule book, Fourth edition. And then, uh, do you remember way back when we had th those monuments? Uh, this is the, the game that they go with. So if you bought them, here's the book that you need to use them. The book is amazing. Uh, yeah. area. I've heard of a group at Creep Core that plays that on a regular basis. First group I've heard of playing it, but the book is worth it anyway. I've, I've read so. it cover to cover. It's great. Yeah. So we've got <laughs> Numeria, we've got Legend of the Five Rings. we got some weird uh, DC D6 system. Starting at $6. $6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 50. Fifty dollars, fifty dollars, sold for fifty dollars to two thirteen. Thank you all very much. We appreciate everything you did for us. <laughs> all right, so I just got out of the auction. It's like eight forty. Um, spent seventy bucks. Got some cool stuff, and I'll show you that when I get home. Probably gonna try and pick up something pretty quick to eat on my way. Uh, <laughs> so lots of panda got to eat. For these but um yeah i said it's it's already getting late so i'll we'll be able to have something nice meal um but it was so much fun um i got in addition to what i got where did i put it there it is um in addition to what i got in the auction uh one of the guys who i, I believe said uh knew my gaming channel which isn't too surprising and i run into people there that do that i try to hand out cards uh and promote it there um but uh very nice and that. He got a double of a little mini of a little jester dude that was cool. So he gave me that. It's like a skeletal jester and a little sidekick. So that was cool, in addition to the stuff that I actually got in the lots uh, myself. And uh, and I did get a chance to talk to a couple people and hand out cards for the uh, Jade Kun Gaming YouTube channel. Always try and do that, you know, just spread the word. Um, and it's fun just hanging out talking to people um you know for the most part most of the lots that i show are ones that you know i, I pull out the camera usually when i'm uh not interested i did a little bit i think when i on some i was bidding on to actually show but for the most part when i'm interested i'm focused on getting the stuff so that stuff i show wasn't stuff i was interested in stuff i don't show tends to be stuff i am more interested in um but beyond that uh it was fun. It was a lot of fun. 
it's just a fun environment and I get more tomorrow uh, they're talking it might go real take a long time tomorrow because there's a lot of board game lots um, both miniatures and RPGs were smaller this time around but board games was actually a bigger um, you know a, a bigger auction more stuff so <laughs> we'll see all right and so I stopped by uh, subway on my way home um, which sounded good but they were out of several things so um, eh. but uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'll eat this and then I'm gonna go grab the stuff I want out of my car and we'll look at what I got. All right, and I got my stuff in. Uh, so we'll take a look at that here. And I won three lots from Minis, but one of them seems to have probably gotten basically misplaced when handing stuff out because I didn't collect my stuff until the end of the day. Um, and so they just sort of refunded the couple of bucks from the, for that and said, you know, they'll let me know if the person that it accidentally got given to, if they're able to get a hold of them and get it back. But whatever. It was two bucks and it was, wasn't something I particularly cared about. So I wasn't too upset. Uh, and they dealt with it very well. So stuff I did get. I got um, for minis the, this sort of set of like old codex books. Um, and I, I kind of just... I have a bit of an area of a shelf where I just sort of keep those. Um, just kind of lore, interesting lore if ever I want to dig through it. And then the other mini thing that I got that was cool is just this bag of bits. It's like um, Dark Elf bits, as in like um, Warhammer Fantasy Dark Elves. So I'm like, I don't know if I really have much use for them, but I mean like there's... I open this up. Things like, there's this like, whole little flag that's on an arm. You know, there's all sorts of helmets and spears and all sorts of crazy stuff. Anyways, always bits like that are interesting to me just in case I need it for mini conversions. Um, and then when we got into role playing games, the first thing I won was lot 13, which has an array of little chronoscope uh, mini blisters. Uh, the interesting one of which was Bonzo the Killer Clown, which has a couple different head options, but it's sort of a, whatever, <laughs> a clown. <laughs> like, like that's interesting, anyways, there. Weird minis. And then the things I was really excited about. I got a lot with four Pathfinder books that I did not have. So I was very happy with that. And I got a lot with three of the Dungeons & Dragons 4th Edition books that I don't have. That completes my set of the Powers books, I believe. So that, I mean, that was, that was the bulk of what I got today. And those, those were the two lots that I spent the most money on. Um, but I uh, still think I got a good deal on them. Um, <laughs> and definitely was happy to get some stuff that I need for both my 4th edition collection and my Pathfinder collection. Because um, I'm always, always enjoying filling that out. Anyways, um, worn out. Tired. Um... So I figure I will head to bed. Because we could do this whole thing all over again tomorrow. <laughs> For tabletop gaming. But uh, it was fun. I had a blast. I am, you know, they, the, the, the folks at the auction that run it are always talking about, oh, you know, thank you so much for coming out. We're so grateful, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm always thinking the same thing. I'm like, you know, as much as I love getting this stuff, and it's what, what draws me out here in the first place, I just have such an amazing time, and I am always so grateful for the work that they put into having these auctions. Because, um, yeah, it's so much fun. Like I said, I'm going to head to bed. Thank you for joining me. Join me as my journey continues. Bye.